Hey everybody, what's up? I want to show you guys a neat trick. I was, here's, well, first of all, here's what I got to do. Plug here. I need one on the opposite side of the wall. But, yes, I could get a tape measure out and measure it out and from the edge of the door and come across, blah, 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 blah. But there's a neater trick. This is a piece of a coat hanger. Just a plain Jane metal coat hanger. See? I snipped it out and I used. Whoop, my tool go. Sorry, I got my finger off in there. But that's what I used to cut it out with. I just simply got across it like this. And you squeeze. And what happens, let me show you. When you cut it, if you look real close, it forms a little point, a little flat sharp point right there makes a perfect little drilling bit so what I'm going to do is and you see I've already done it here this hole I've already passed it all the way through the wall and again I don't know if I mentioned a moment ago but the electricity is turned off I know the wires are not on either side of this this hole right here I hit a stud uh, the conduit there's an electrical conduit coming up and down through here and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. I've already checked and verified all that, so I know I'm not getting any kind of electricals over here. So be very careful when you do this, if you're doing it around electrical. Now, the beauty of using a piece of metal oh, uh, clothes hanger is the fact that it will drill through carpet. If anybody's ever tried to drill carpet with a drill bit, you'll know that it'll pull the string straight up out of the bit. It'll pull the string up out of the carpet and just totally ruin your carpet. This will slide right through your carpet with no issues whatsoever. So what I need to do is I'm going to run a hole through this wall and I'm going to show you on the other side where, the, where it comes out. That way you'll know where to start cutting from the other side. Watch. Now I'm going to start a new hole just to show you. Because I'm going to cut it out anyway. Nice young pressure. Just slide. See, just simply one layer. And then put the second wall. Draw one the other side. Alright. Now I need both hands to take the uh, wire out of the drill, so I'll be right back. Okay, see that I took the drill off the wire. It's sticking all the way through the wall. So you can push it like right here. It's sticking out the other side. So let's go to the other side. You can see it. Okay, it's a little dark back in this little corner right here. But here's the wire. It's sticking all the way through the wall. So now I know right here is where I'm going to start making my cuts to put my wall receptacle in. All I got to do is make my lines, cut here, here. But in another case, too, if you were running um, like cable TV line, you need to bring it up through your floor. You can know, you can drill straight down through your floor where you want it to go down through your floor. Then crawl into your house and see where the wire is sticking out at. Then you take a bigger drill bit and you know where to put it at. Therefore, if it's not where you think, if you try to drill from the bottom up and you keep hitting the wrong spots, these will be tiny holes, easy to patch. So there you go. I just want to show you a neat little trick. Y'all have a nice day. Peace. See y'all.